Hey guys, I'm Deepthi Desikin and in this video, I'm going to be swatching a couple of Nykaa's best-selling lipstick shades. This was one of the most requested videos on my channel when I used to do those one-brand lipstick swatches. I've already done Faces Canada, Maybelline, Lacme, uh, Swiss Beauty, Mars Cosmetics. So this is an addition to those uh, videos so i'll try to make a playlist so that you can watch all of that one by one so i picked up some of the best-selling shades that i i think are best-selling shades and i asked the brand to uh, send me a couple of these shades as well which they very gladly obliged and i would like to thank them for that because not a lot of brands cooperate with you when you want to do such videos and they're not even willing to spare the products you know even if it benefits them so i'm really glad that they did send some of these products over but some of but most of these were purchased with my own money it's my own product and this video is of course not sponsored so anyways let's get started with the swatches i'll show you guys each of the range and then talk about the formulation and all of that and what shade suits whom so let's get started first range of lipsticks I'm going to be swatching is the So Matte uh, range. Though these are mentioned to be matte lipsticks, they're more creamy matte and these are one of the first few lipsticks that they launched. The first one we have is called Irish Coffee which is one of their more popular shades. This is a very nice cool toned sort of like a grey nude shade. Works really well for most skin tones I have seen this one on and it is pretty pigmented for my lips and if you have very pigmented lips I don't think you would like it and also if you have much deeper skin tone than I am you would probably need a lip liner or this would wash you out but this is a beautiful shade nonetheless very similar to Maybelline nude nuance next shade we have is called taupe thrill i have this one in the mini variant they do have full and mini sizes of most of these lipsticks just in case you wanted to check that out this taupe thrill i feel like it's not pigmented enough for my lips and it's a very subtle pinky nude shade of course if you are of a lighter skin tone than i am this would work like a beautiful nude shade the next shade we have is a beautiful warm toned brown shade which is called caramel margarita this would work really well for up to medium tan skin tones again it's not the most pigmented maybe because i have it in the mini version maybe the full size of this is more pigmented but it's a beautiful shade nonetheless the next shade we have is called naughty nude which is more of a brighter peachy pink shade i feel like it just instantly makes you look a lot more fresh and more brighter it's a beautiful shade but again it would, might not be everybody's cup of tea because it is a little bit more on the peachier brighter side the next shade we have is called bonbon which is a deeper brownish mauve nude shade i absolutely love this particular shade it's really nice and pigmented again would work for a lot of different skin tones way people way deeper than my skin tone as well this would look really nice and show up on your lips and work out to be a really nice nude shade for your skin tone the next one we have is called california Merlot, which is more of a deeper red shade with cool undertones to it it has a little bit of like that purplish cool hints to it it is a beautiful shade and that's the reason i decided to include it i'm not sure if this is a best seller but i just wanted to include it because i feel like it's a beautiful shade and then moving on to the nika matte Licious lip crayons there are some really nice best-selling shades in this one like the shade jade rose is one of the best sellers i feel like until like till date and a lot of people still ask me for dupes for this one similar shades to this one it's indeed a really nice shade a little bit of a deeper nude shade for my skin tone it has a little bit of red undertones to it it is beautiful it's not too subtle and uh uh, it's not too bright either the next one we have is called next level nude which is a very popular shade among people of lighter skin tones of course because it looks like a beautiful nude shade on you if you have a lighter skin tone but for me it's a very pale nude shade and i don't prefer wearing these kind of shades on its own at least and this could be a mixing shade for me but not something that i would wear on its own because i feel like it washes me out even with a make full face of makeup on the next one we have is called lazy luck which is more of a peachy nude shade compared to the previous shade and again this would work for people of light to light medium skin tones next shade we have is called a uh, twilight dreams which i've seen a lot of people love and i've also seen the swatches and reviews of this on the nika app but i feel like the formulation of this one is a little bit more stickier and heavier on the lips and also i feel like it is a little bit patchy given that it is such a deep shade so just be aware of that next up swatching their liquid lipsticks i'm going in the order of how these products were launched initially and how i reviewed them uh, coming to the formula of these liquid lipsticks i'm not the biggest fan of them i feel like they're not consistent throughout the formulation like some of them are really nice some of them just watery and don't really dry down completely on my lips some of them just are patchy so the first one we have is called kashi it's a beautiful subtle pink nude shade but you can see like somewhat the oil and the other remaining component of this doesn't mix up like the remaining ingredients don't mix up and so you're just left with like a very glossy looking lips which takes forever to dry down but the shades are beautiful so i hope that there is a reformulation and uh they come up with a reformulated version of these shades because the shades they've nailed it okay but 
not so much with the formula anyhow this is how the shade kashi looks like and then i have this shade called madras kapi in the mini variant which is completely dried down and so i'm going to like try to revive it with a little bit of duraline from inglot because i do really like the shade and i want to swatch it in this video but sadly everything is drying up and I can't seem to keep repurchasing it every time, right? Like full size, mini size, because I want to try out new lip products and can't get stuck up with just the same old. This is a very subtle, cool tone nude shade and I've seen a lot of people love this, but somehow it has never worked out for my skin tone. And this is how it looks like on my lips. The next shade we have is called Bombay. This is again a very pale peachy nude shade and Trust me, till date, I get a lot of requests to, for me to dupe this shade and I'm not quite able to get there. So the shades, they have nailed it for, for sure. Like it's a little bit of unique shades in this particular range. The next shade we have is also a super popular shade, which is called Naika Chai. And uh, th this is popular for a reason. It's a brown, brown shade with a little bit of red undertones to it. And it's beautiful on every single skin tone. This is swatched on. The last shade we have from this range is called Mishti, which is a beautiful pink toned red shade i hope that there has been a reformulation and there's change in these formulations i really hope so so if you have tried out these uh, lipsticks in the recent past let me know how the formulation is then moving on to the nika ultra matte lipsticks these are one of the best matte like super matte lipsticks i've tried out they've nailed it with this formulation the shades and everything so the first one we are going to be swatching is um Mona Lisa which is a beautiful peachy brownish nude shade I absolutely love this and this used to be one of my favorite shades like when they initially launched I couldn't stop putting this one down it is a beautiful shade for people up to medium skin tones for sure it is intensely pigmented it is a matte and it stays on pretty decently on your lips doesn't transfer as much the next one is one of their again best selling shades which is called Jane which is a beautiful warm peachy nude shade for people up to medium skin tones I would say anywhere deeper than that this might wash you out ultra matte range even the mini is like nice and pigmented it's not like it's lacking any pigmentation so you either get the mini or the full size you still get like the full performance of the product the shade we have is called Diana which is a very beautiful like a warm pinkish shade with a little bit of mauve hints to it as well this would work as a beautiful nude shade for people of medium medium tan and deeper skin tones this used to be my go-to nude shade for my no makeup makeup days and of course i did stop using it eventually because i found a lot of other lipsticks but this is still one of my favorite nude shades like every single time i wear this one on i feel like it just makes you look so much more fresh and bright and it doesn't wash you out so this is a beautiful shade indeed next up we have the shade called coco which is actually a bright pink shade with a little bit of red undertones to it very similar to mac all fired up i feel like and it's again so nice to wear on your no makeup makeup days if you have like a yellow outfit or something like that and you just want it to like brighten your face without having a lot of makeup on this is the shade that would do that just make sure that you prep your lips really well because it's actually starting to like tug and pull on my lips because my lips are a little bit dry from all of the swatches so you have to apply a lip balm at least 10 to 15 minutes prior to applying these lipsticks and then they stay so well throughout the day and then we have a red shade with pink undertones called madeline the previous one was a pink shade with red undertones this is the other way around again a really beautiful shade this wouldn't suit all skin tones in my opinion there are some reds that might clash with your skin tone i would suggest a deeper red shade in that case but yeah, if you're looking for a pink tone red shade, you can try this out. Next up, we have Nika Cleopatra, one of my favorite uh, deeper plumish pinkish kind of a shade. I absolutely love this shade. It is still something that I reach out for a lot. And I feel like it is a shade you could safely resort to if you feel like you know you want to keep your makeup very subtle but you want your lips to do all the speaking this is the shade you should reach out for this would suit every single skin tone out there for sure next up swatching the nika so creme lipsticks these are creamy lipsticks these are uh, really nice and comfortable on the lips they have some beautiful shades in this range so first one is your latte this is what it looks like on the lips it's a very cool toned nude shade again not the most pigmented ones but it is very nice and comfortable and creamy on the lips next up we have let it snooze which is a warm peachy nude shade very similar to i feel like jane from the ultra matte range so you can pick up either one of it depending on the formulation you like this is more pigmented than the previous shade that i swatched and would suit people up to light medium skin tones in my opinion 
Next up is called Wake Up Makeup, which is again popular among people of lighter skin tones. It's a very pale nude shade for my skin tone. Next up we have is called Breaker Leg. Again, not the most pigmented shade, but this is a beautiful warm pink nude shade for my skin tone. The last shade is one of my favorite shades, which is called Deja Nude. And if there's one shade you have to pick up from this range, it is this one. It's a beautiful, cool toned, brownish, dusty, burgundy shade. And it looks so good on people of deeper skin tones. And it's nice and pigmented as well. And so this is one of the shades that I've reached out for the most in this collection and used a lot on and off camera as well. Next up, we have the Nykaa Lux Matte lipsticks that come in packaging like this. I couldn't pick up all of the shades because some of them were sold out, but whatever I could get my hands on, I do have right here. So I think one shade that I always wanted to try out from this range is called Artisanal Coffee. It just is such an interesting shade. It's like this beautiful, cool toned nude shade. Of course, not pigmented enough for my lips, but I still do really like this. I can pull it off with a brownish lip liner for sure. The next one is another very beautiful shade. It's a beautiful warm pinkish kind of a shade, which is called Althesia. And this is what it looks like. Now the formulation of these lipsticks are such that they are a little bit creamy and they don't really settle down to a matte finish. Uh, some shades are not very pigmented like the lighter shades. The next one we have is called Vintage which is a very subtle peachy nude shade for my skin tone. Next shade we have is called Staycation which is a warm pink shade and this is certainly more pigmented than all of the shades that I swatched in this range. The next shade we have is called Retail Therapy. For some reason looking at the bullet I thought it would be a much deeper shade than it is but it's just a deeper more of pink shade like it's not a very grungy deep pink shade next up swatching the nika all day matte liquid lipsticks they have some beautiful shades in this range and this one is a little bit more pigmented than the other matte liquid lipstick they go on pigmented they dry down completely matte and they can be a little bit drying so actually a little too drying if you're not used to the li liquid lipstick so prep your lips really well and prepare for that like it's pigmented so you can't expect anything else. This is the first shade which is called Insta Influencer. This one in Insta Influencer is a very subtle peachy nude shade. Again, would look really nice for light and light medium skin tones. The next one we have is called Deer Dog, which is like a more brighter um, orangish kind of a shade. It has a little bit of peach undertone as well. It's not so much of a burnt orange shade. So I'm not sure how many people would like this, but it is a really nice shade. Next up, we have the shade called Prom Date, which is a beautiful, deep, warm pink shade. I absolutely love this particular shade on my skin tone i think this would work for people of medium tan and deeper skin tones as well nice and opaque very pigmented and you cannot really see the natural pigmentation of your lips with this kind of a shade next up we have the shade called boss babe which i excuse the application of it <laughs> over time it's just getting a little bit messy but what a beautiful shade this is this is has a little bit of pink it has a little bit of red i can see this work for so many different skin tones out there and it's such a beautiful bright shade i really like this you guys it's so 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 pretty next up we have another very beautiful shade which is called bright crew which is a deep pink toned red shade so it has again a lot of pink undertones to it but it is also a lot of like red berry hints to it a very beautiful shade very unique shade so yeah that's pretty much everything i wanted to swatch and show you guys so let me know what other brands you'd like to watch next if you want me to continue this series let me know the brand that you want to watch next and what other videos you'd like to watch leave it in the comment section down below and while you're at it give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time i upload a new video and i'll see you guys in my next one bye